This is an oak tree. Now we understand the title a little bit. Yes! yes. Under the oak tree. Episode nine was super juicy, but so moving juicy. right along. This is episode 17. Let's go around and introduce who we're playing in this episode. Oh my God, I have so many characters this episode. Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm still the narrator, right? So then I'm also night two, and then I'm villager one, and then I'm also a merchant and servant number two. So much range. I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I'm Sam and I'm still Riften. <laughs> hey, I'm Ashley, I am Ruth, and also night number three. I am Olivia and I am still Maxie. I'm Andrea and I am night one, Ludus, servant one, and I'm also a kid. <laughs> I love that journey for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Whoa, it looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Under Great. the oak tree. Wow. Clop, oh. Clop. Lots of horses. Oh, rustle, I like that. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Grr. <gasps> Monsters, leave. Ah! <laughs> slash, slash. Ah. Whimper. And then more running of horses. <laughs> Night number one. Why are there so many monsters? I thought we were going to the capital. This shortcut is infested with them. There's a reason people don't use this route. I personally enjoy some slang on the road, but it's too much. Oh, stop whining. How are you so pristine? Hey. I've never seen him disheveled. Sparkle, sparkle, <laughs> clean. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, monsters, enough already. More running of horses, clop, 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 whoosh. I, I'll be waiting. Clop, 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 squee. Anyone lagging behind will have to catch up on their own. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Giddy up. Clop, clop, clop. <laughs> Commander. The wind is cold, my lady. I, I'm fine. You've been ill for two days. You shouldn't push yourself. Hmm? I guess the kid. Even that young child works. Look at you. You got here without spitting, without spilling half of it this time. Jeez, stop it. <laughs> and finds happiness in doing so. Will I ever smile like that? Yeah. If you aren't a boy, at least be healthy or die. Just like your mom. <gasps> My lady, are you cold? Shall we head in now? Do whatever you want with the place. This is your home now. Mm -hmm. I'll be back soon. Mm. I don't want to disappoint him. If I do well as lady of the castle, maybe he'll let me stay by his side, even when he grows tired of me. Mm. I just have to improve myself. Please summon the merchant. That was my intention, but this. Just how many miscalculations are there? Let's see, 20 lirams for one marble tile. Tile? Huh? This should be in the dirham, not the liram. D do they d differ a lot in value? A dirham is worth a twelfth of a liram. Oh, so liram times 12 equals one dirham. If what you wrote is correct, then Sir Riften will soon be penniless and need to start searching for dragon layers to raid. I I'm just not used to managing the ledger yet. Just tell them you can't do it. They'll understand. I'll inform Rodrigo on my way out. No! You, you said you'd help me. Jump. So a few days ago, then you wish to change all the windows to glass and have the banquet hall tiled with marble. We should start construction tomorrow. Do you think the sorcerer is angry? I heard that even in the kitchen, pause. <clears throat> oh, my lady. Beautiful sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the design. I still don't get it. Am I really that hopeless? The castle needs so much fixing, and I need to purchase so many things. Am I even doing this right? I don't know. No. Ooh, flinch. <sighs> Rise. <laughs> what? What's that 
noise? Lift. Huh? Oh, have you been so noisy these past... Why have you been so noisy these past few days? R Ruth? <laughs> <laughs> He's so grumpy. So grumpy. He's tired, okay? <laughs> we having to keep things together. I know. She's tired too, probably. True. Like, True. Her, ma her like mind is probably just like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does it have to do math? <laughs> Yeah, I relate to that. I can't do math to save my life. <laughs> yeah. room, great room, our room. He's like, <laughs> Durham, I trust room. that you'll be... 112, do your math. Do your math. He's like, I trust you'll be fine. Here, take all my money and make the house pretty. And she's right. like... So he, she literally takes all the money and now he's... <laughs> Do you think he's going to be mad? He's just got to go slay more dragons. Apparently. He, she did the math wrong. I wish like, I could make money like that, just slaying just dragons. Just slaying dragons? Yeah. Well, dra dragon layers, raiding them. Oh. oh. That seems hard. That seems really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> it's not, that, not the life for me. So before we find out why Ruth is so angry, we were going to say goodbye for now to Riften. Goodbye. Sam. Are okay. you going to go um, slay some dragons? I'll be slaying dragons okay. over there. Okay. But we're, in more. We're, in <laughs> we're in debt. We're in debt. Yeah. Yeah. We're in debt. Okay. I need well. more marble tiles. Right. For the castle. For the castle. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll go slay dragons and you guys hold down the fort. Okay. okay. Yes. Hold we'll down do. the castle. Yes. Hey. Yeah, yeah. 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 Castle. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Riften. Bye, Riften. Bye. Riften. Oh, pushes your chair, nice. Oh, sweet Riften. <laughs> wow. We're gonna miss him. And then there were four. Yes. And now that he's gone, we can talk a lot of crap. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, why is Riften so great? I mean, I like it, but like, come on back. There are some moments where I'm like, communicate with a person, my goodness. Yeah. But he Riften really leaves me here. He really did. He really did leave. He really did leave. <laughs> here I am. All by yourself. With the servants and Rodrigo and my friends. Grumpy, yeah. grumpy man. The grumpy Ruth. man. <laughs> Ruth is not grumpy. Ruth is just misunderstood. Yes, yes. And we'll find out why in episode 18. Mm -hmm. Ren, who yes. are you reading for? All right, episode? so for this episode, I'm just the narrator. I will play Ruth. I will be playing, blah, blah. <laughs> I will be playing Maxi. Um, I'm just vibing during this episode. We love, we that, love that. We love that journey Thank for you. you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's, uh, let's find out more. Okay. okay. Under the oak tree. Doo, 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 doo. I think there used to be like a little like doo, 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 doo. right, a little yeah. song or yeah, something. Thank you for. Yeah, okay. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Agree. Ooh, so <sighs> just when I was finally getting some decent sleep, why have you been so noisy these days? W when? When was I being noisy? Well, you've been groaning incessantly in the library, my lady. Did you know that you were disrupting my sleep? Wait. Has he been watching me these past few days? How did I not notice? I, I, I thought I, w I was alone. <laughs> well, this is the library. It's rude to raise your voice here. But, but you're, you're, you're the one using it as a bedchamber. Oh, well, perhaps you were unaware, my lady. Asking for healing magic in the middle of the night? Clatter, clatter, clatter. <laughs> Please. Cast some healing. She's simply exhausted. Magic won't help. Then give us some herbs. Demanding herbs. I know I'm the only sorcerer in the castle, so I understand their despair. But to pester me day and night like that. I, I, I'm sorry. It's fine. And it is my duty, and I'm glad you're well again. In any case, may I ask what you were doing? Hmm? Oh, is this the ledger? Oh, oh, d d don't! <laughs> but this is how. But please Roger. give it back. Just, just how much have you been spending? Well, R Riften told me not to worry about money. But still, just, just ask for help if you need it. That's how my private lessons with Ruth began. What I meant was for you to ask someone like Rodrigo for help. But, but you agreed to, to, to help me. If I ask Rodrigo, he'll definitely think I'm incompetent. <laughs> you truly are as brazen as your husband. Of course not. R Rift and I are d different. He, he's responsible and lo loyal. A and, and, and he's a great man. 
Okay. <sighs> All right, please focus. Right, right. All right, a mistake here and here okay. and here. Okay. And here. Right. Another there. Right. Again. Okay. Yes. C could you look? That's enough for today. Th thank you. I w was able to cut on s spending th thanks to you, Ruth. Just as insufferable as him. So insufferable. Pause. R Ruth? I saw you have plans to landscape the garden as well. Yes. I'm not, not sure if Rifton will li like it, though. <laughs> the servants will be flustered if you order them to uproot this tree. But, but I heard it's dead. It does, doesn't even grow leaves. W would it be better to use it as firewood? Anatolians believe that nymphs reside in trees, so they're wary about cutting trees, even dead ones. Plus, this is an oak tree. Well, what's special about oak trees? I'm sure you know the legend of Sir Wigru? It is a story every child has heard at least once. The story of a man who ended an ancient dark war with a holy sword gifted by the gods and led the founding of the Rome Empire. Wow. Sir Wigru. The legend tells he ascended to heaven on a white dragon after fulfilling his given duty. This legend is a bit more special to Anat Anatolians. They believe they rode, they believe that he rode the heavenly dragon on the hill outside Anatol Castle. Anatolians grew up listening to this story. And I'm sure you know how famous the love story of Sir Wigru and the nymph of the oak tree is. I love this. I'm just look at the so, artwork, it's, it's so beautiful. So <laughs> the people believe that the nymph is still awaiting for Sir Wigru's return. So much that every spring festival, all the maidens go to the fields to sing songs of praise for the nymph's love. Th then, if I c cut down the oak tree for firewood... The people would hate you. They wouldn't be obvious about it since you're the lady of the estate. The people here just love Sir Wigru too much. What should I do? I can't just leave a dead tree here. It looks so ghastly. Ah, I'll see if it can be revived. Ooh. Now we understand the title a little bit. Yeah. Yes, Under, Under the, the Oak, Oak tree. tree. Wow. I always feel that Leonardo DiCaprio meme where it's like, there's the title. Yes. There's yeah, yes. yes. When I first read that, I was like, I get it now. I know. <laughs> I literally, I'm like, oh, oh my God, it's the Oak, oak tree. tree. Oh, right. and there's this like ancient story about the Oak tree mm -hmm. and the lint nymph that 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 lives in there. Aww. And I like how it, when it showed the ancient story, I'm like, mm, the, they look like the main characters. I mm -hmm. see. Um, I know, oh, right? I don't know. Sir like, Wigru, the nymph, mm -hmm. I'm, am I the nymph? Is, you know, Riften Sir Wigru? I what? mean, only time can tell. We are waiting for him to come back. That is true. Yeah. Coincidence that he left it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think not. So, mm. so this episode, we're really getting to see a lot more of, of, of Maxie. You know, really, yeah. like we talked about in the other episodes, like overcoming her, her stutter and her mm. impediment. Mm -hmm. you know, do you all relate to, to that, like overcoming a challenge in your life or, or something that's, that's been hard for you to overcome and then you finally do or you're working through it and... Yeah. This reminds me of like um, going to your first day of school or a new job right. where you're kind of reserved and you don't know anyone. And then you meet, you know, people that you feel open to and mm -hmm. then you're kind of, they're showing you around and, you know, you get to be a little closer to them. And I feel like in this episode, we really got to explore the relationship between Ruth and Maxie. And I feel like there's like this trust now mm -hmm. between them that it is so sweet. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. And like Ruth doesn't treat her like, I mean, obviously not poorly, but he also doesn't treat her like, oh, she's something to be super respected because she's like the princess or something. Right. It's just like, hey, you, you mess up on this. You can do better. Like, yes. I will help you fix this. And that's like a good friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I like how he kind of also 
teases her the way he would tease Riften, and it has mm-hmm. nothing to do with her stutter, and he hasn't questioned it. He yep. just is talking to her, yeah. but also so comfortable enough with her that, like, he's outwardly talking about sometimes his annoyance at Riften, which yes. no one else really does that around her, mm. and I think would be too scared. And he's like, I don't care. I will yeah. tell you. You were really vibing over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, just enjoy I, it. I think Ruth is so cute to me. I think so too. Yeah. I, I honestly, personally, I think I would be more drawn to Ruth. Oh, yeah. 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 He's cute. Yeah. And he's smart, and he does magic, and he knows history. And, and I kind of like the dark, grumpy guys. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> A lot is coming out of me. Right? Now that Ripton right. is gone. We're just like, you know, <laughs> speaking our truth. <laughs> yeah, I like the camaraderie that they're building. And yeah. like you said, doesn't he doesn't make fun of her 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 stutter. He's mm-hmm. like, yeah, he messed up and I'm gonna make fun of you because yeah. you did it wrong and you might cost us lots of money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and I love how willing um Maxie is, even though she's learning, yeah. she's not, you know, she's embarrassed, but she's like, okay, mm-hmm. what do I need to do to, to fix the problem, mm-hmm. to remedy the problem? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's definitely grown a lot even within these like these chapters, and she's gotten comfortable with Ruth to the point where she can like talk back to him at some points. Yeah. So. yeah. Wow, I love that for you. Yeah. You haven't done this yet. Yeah. And she's never had any friends before. Mm-hmm. So this is like the first person that she's connected with on like a friend level. Yeah. And Ruth is a little harsh, but but real. It's yeah. Real. I also think. It's like a subconscious. I don't know if he is aware he's doing it, but he is looking out for her because she was gonna cut that oak tree. Yeah. And like. Instead of making her feel bad of like necessarily the decision, he like explained why because mm-hmm. she's not from the culture that's there. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of like gave the reality and like I think in a funny way. Yeah, yeah. Delivery. I love that he like everyone in Anatole is really nice to her. I feel like in other mm-hmm. stories we read, people of the service can be very rude when a, mm-hmm. a woman comes in because they think she's going to change everything, mm-hmm. and, and they kind of approach this person with. Um, Disrespect, mm-hmm. like subvertly disrespect. Mm-hmm. I just love how loving and sweet everyone is to, yeah. to Max, and it's really helping her. I feel like feel more confident and comfortable that she can work yeah. through overcoming her her stutter, which mm-hmm. is so beautiful to see in this story. Mm-hmm. And even if she doesn't overcome her stutter, I think like in general, I think she's growing powerful in her own like in yeah, her, in her in own herself. skin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't define who she is, exactly. which is awesome. She's just gaining confidence and learning through these tasks that she's been given. And that mm-hmm. I love that people trust her to give her these tasks. Yeah. You know? She's blooming. She's blooming. Right before our eyes. Oh, she's <laughs> blooming under the oak tree. <gasps> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, our job's done. We got done. So Bye, fun. everyone. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't know, I really love. Uh, I don't have like a speech impediment, but I, I, I have a phobia of swimming mm. Mm. and so like this year actually like well gosh it's 2022 last year i took swimming lessons wow and congratulations the, thank you like with a bunch of children literally toddlers but there is that that i, I can relate to the self-talk of like falling back mm. into old habits like you can't do this like why are you trying to you're not good enough mm. to you should know how to do this by now and so like i really relate to just overcoming that inner self-talk mm-hmm. that's the negative self-talk and like what happens when you do overcome it and you prove to yourself that you can do such things. And that's where the confidence comes from. And I see it. It's kind of parallel for me and I see it in, in Maxi as well. Yeah, I like, because uh, like for me, I'm disabled. I have spina bifida. And uh, a lot of times when I read different comics, if there is someone who is, even though they're not like outwardly defined as disabled, um, when they have disability characteristics, you do see other characters always like treating them a little bit differently mm. or and it makes that person change and i like how so far everyone just like knows that she stutters and does and like treats her fine and that's how a lot of like my friends treat me mm. and stuff and they'll help me and not necessarily bring it up so i like feel insecure but they'll just help and so it's like a nice breath of fresh air seeing that like everyone is just Stuttering is normal, yeah. and it should be, because it is her normal to mm-hmm. stutter. So yeah. I like I like reading that. Thank we you. find yeah. Maxi in all of us. Yes. yes. Well, how do you find Maxi in both of you? I'm intrigued. I have a lot of that inner dialogue, you mm-hmm. know? Um, so, and being doubtful in situations and um, being doubtful of my capabilities, mm-hmm. especially when you are amongst people that you don't know and they're just strangers. So, um, yeah, I really, really like her. She's really sweet and pure and genuine. Yeah. I mean, I know that for me, 
there's like this insecurity in a lot of things uh, or whether or not I belong in places or spaces mm. in general, especially in the industry where, you know, I know the reput representation is like super important right now and start, it's like slowly starting to lean towards that area. And there's lots of moments where I have to question, oh, do I belong here? Am I okay to take up this space? What about someone else is more qualified than me? Mm -hmm. um, but I have to realize that, well, no, someone chose me for a reason. Mm -hmm. I have to trust that they chose me for that reason. And I have to believe in myself that I will do the job well. Um, and that's just something that I have to consistently work on. And I think everyone has that same problem, especially that imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, yeah, everyone's got that imposter syndrome, like, oh, I don't belong here. And really, it's just like, no, it's not that. It's just that the systems are out there that are not allowing you to enter. So it's not you. It's something else. Yeah. yeah. And we all belong here. Yeah. yeah. You guys are, honestly, you guys are all killing it. You guys are such professionals. And... Everyone is so good and kind and sweet and insightful. I'm I'm really happy to be doing this reading with Thank you guys. You. you are so oh, amazing. Yeah. You guys are all great. I love this. I think it's fun too to say like what we feel is a fear to something new. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the imposter syndrome comes in. And, and then we just have to realize like I love what you said like we were chosen for a reason. Yeah. There's a reason why Maxie is there. Why I mean there was arranged marriage. But this is all helping her and I feel like you're given different tasks in life to help us succeed even right. more beyond our wildest dreams and imagination. Exactly. So yeah, we're, we all got a little maxi in us. We yeah. do. And I wish I had a little rift in me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> and to the next chapter. That wraps it up. Be on the lookout for other episodes. And season two of Under the Oak Tree is out now. So make sure you're following Manta on all social channels. Make sure you have the Manta app so you can keep up on everything. And we'll see you next time.